So I've repotted this in pure bird's nest root. It rained heavily last night. So the medium is quite dark. Whereas in a normal day, when the medium dries up, the fern root I've used in this is dark brown. From now on, I will dry this plant uh, to avoid any transplant shock or further damage with root rot. Uh, only uh, the very bottom of this pot has some lava rock in it but uh, the plant has been uh, secured with uh, root pieces all around the pot and uh, lava rock and charcoal tucked in between to keep it stable and airy. I've told you that I have uh, soaked this and I showed you how I soaked this in Mega Thrive uh, and I want to show you a plant that I did not soak in Mega Thrive because I didn't want to disturb its heavy root growth and I wanted it to get acclimated to my conditions before uh, I repotted the plant that is the Phalaenopsis the biggest Phalaenopsis I had in my previous video now it has been further in their sunburns and i think the main reason is because i did not soak this in mega thrive if i soaked this it would have had a better chance of avoiding any kind of sunburn this is something that I believe wholeheartedly because none of my previously repotted oh, these are uh, mini phalaenopsis or the soko euclidians go into any kind of transplant shock or sunburn because of the mega thrive soaking but because i did not want to disturb this i only pulled out all the dead material like the old cocoa husks and uh, re replenished this with uh, charcoal and lava rock and pieces of root i wanted it to get used to my surroundings before i repot it but I shouldn't have done that. I should have, as usual, repotted the whole plant by soaking that in Mega Thrive. Uh, one point I have to make here about me repotting plants when I bring them home, as soon as I bring them home, is because to Sri Lanka, plants from Bangkok arrive within one day and since I have Mega Thrive and I have tested it out I have uh, less of a waiting game but can get into repotting as soon as I receive a plant which enabled a few to flower and extend their flower spikes also so that is the method I uh, go with and uh, this is actually is for the avid grower not for the beginner okay grower but I hope you can take points from the methods I have been growing. You just don't have to be afraid of repotting 
of Phalaenopsis, which has been in sphagnum moss into your own media if you can soak it with uh, mega thrive or super thrive to minimize the transplant shock when i showed you the root system of this phalaenopsis you could clearly see that there was uh, second to none root rot uh, while it was in its old medium of sphagnum moss. So that is why I decided to uh, repot this solely in a highly water retentive media such as this uh, fern root piece. So the main thing that you have to remember is the watering of this plant, the media, it has to get dried very quickly because this is newly repotted. But the trait of this fern root is it will get dried up pretty soon. Though you see a lot of root here and a lot of water here I can guarantee you that this dries up very fast preferably within a day and this pot which it's in is highly porous so it's easy to dry out the water in it uh, this has been one of the uh, many reasons uh, that I had to remove plants from this pot uh, earlier because this gets dried up the fastest among all my clay pots hence the reason uh, another reason for me to use a pure um, root uh, fern root when repotting this phalaenopsis so i think i must have uh, taped this video 50 times or more but due to so many disturbances opening gates lawn mowers running and my cat acres loud noises voices and everything I uh, was not able to give you an update of this. So that concludes my video and uh, please drop any questions you have in the comments so I can answer. And I have to uh, finally mention that this is not for the beginner or kid grower, but for the experienced. Uh, in my case, I always experiment with uh, new medium and methods and uh, give them the conditions I have at my home and try to get them used to those conditions and grow very well so there might be so many un unorthodox methods in my uh, videos which are not actually for the faint-hearted so these methods i use have been tried and tested by me to a success where i get new leaf growth every day and whatever the uh, media that I have used has dried without giving me any root rot. But this is not an exact science and each plant may differ. As you can see of how it will grow in different mediums. 
some will do wonderfully like this and some will not like this so it's actually uh, trials and tests that will determine which growth medium will be uh, suitable for your growing conditions meaning your climate and uh, your fertilizer your medium and the plant that you use so I hope I have uh, been somewhat clear and thank you very much for your time see you again